need to get eyes on the demo gate. Mitchell, over here. There's the habit puncher. Demo team should be nearby. Over there! Shit. They're KIA. Okay. Okay. I see their explosive packs. We can still do this. Sir, we aren't a demolitions team. No. We're not. We wait for another demo team and that launcher's gonna move position. I'll get the charges, sir. Just give me cover. You sure will? Yeah. I can make it. Okay. Mitchell, you're with irons. We'll cover your movement. Let's do it! Over here! Give me a charge. Okay, time is set. Give me ah! 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 Oh, shit. Damn, I think my arm's broke. It fucking hurts. Okay, fool! Ah! Ah, shit. Don't worry about that timer. Give me one more time. Pull! Ah! We're lifting off. You gotta go now! Mitchell! We're out of time! You gotta jump! No! It's okay. I'll see you on the other side. Get you home. After a second day of heavy fighting, U.S. Marines were successfully able to drive North Korean forces out of Seoul. With an additional division arriving soon, Hopes are high that we may finally see a return to peace and stability in the region. 
Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and that part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, and they've settled their debts. It's up to the living to pick up the tab. And so it is time to say farewell to Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. He leaves behind family, friends, fellow Marines, and a grateful nation. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of our own. If you ever need any... Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Son? I want to offer you a second chance. Mr. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. Get in a position. 